Let's balance the chemical equation tin plus sodium hydroxide. So the first thing we do, we count up the atoms on each side. One tin atom, one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. On the product side, we have the tin, just one of those, two sodiums, two oxygens, and then two hydrogens. When I look at this, I see I just need to double all of these right here, and they're together in the NaOH. So all I really need to do is put a coefficient of 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide. The 2, it goes to everything. So 1 times 2 gives us two sodiums. 1 times the 2, that'll give us two oxygens. And 1 times the 2, that gives us two hydrogens. And this equation is balanced. I'm not entirely sure of the states here in the reactants. I get the feeling that this would have to be molten, that these would have to be actually melted into a liquid, and then we'd get the hydrogen gas here, and this would probably be either a solid or molten. At least when you cool it down, it would be a solid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for SN plus NaOH, tin plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.